Sausage video. <laughs> Hi guys. What? Okay. Why does why the <laughs> why the high voice? I don't. I, I, the reason for the high voice, Dean, is because I say on every single video, you always go, "Hi guys." <laughs> <In the> beginning, <laughs> is, <laughs> Dean's balls have just dropped. <laughs> so, so today's video. <laughs> Oh mate. Oh, love it, love it. Hi what? guys. <laughs> Adam, shut up. <laughs> right, what have we got today, Adam? Right, today we're today. doing a HMO property and we've got to uh, fit a new extractor. Uh, so a bit core hole drilling and um, first job. And then we're off to a fault find and then we're at the snooker club. What day is it, Adam? Friday. And um, what is Friday? Pub night. Friday night is pub night, and Friday night is pub night, and pub night oh, is Friday night. In fact, pub. this used to be a pub. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it did. It's, the one, one we're on at the moment is the next pub. A lovely old pub in Kingsford, you'll know it. It was the Prince of Wales, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it was an old drug den or something. Yeah. But anyway, it's now a HMO. The customer who we're dealing with now is, um, she's the landlord on a HMO and she's bought it and it's come up with loads of problems, as you'll loads. see. Loads, loads, loads. Yeah, so we're sorting out the extractor fans today. The extractor fans with no extract, <laughs> is it? It just goes into the loft, Yeah, it? it just goes into the loft. So we'll show nice you all that. Um, so, but luckily this, the landlord we've got here now is really like safety conscious and everything so they want to get all this sorted so it's not their problem and they don't mind putting some money towards it yeah. so that's um it's a good good thing yeah mm -hmm. yeah so we'll catch you then yeah. so yeah this one we we was checking out the extractor we and the customer had a problem with the extractor fan so we're gonna take it off and see what the problem is. Oh look, there's no, uh, there's, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just going into it's the just roof. like, literally, look at that. Oh no. It's straight into the ins insulation. You think? The loft insulation, that's like. At this point we're thinking, why? What, what, why? Something's not right here, so, hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go and explore. Let's, let, let's get up into the roof and, and have a look. Yeah. That's so what we're thinking. It's like, it's been, I think it's been people taking shortcuts, isn't it? And DIY Dave. DIY Dave's getting involved, and he's, you know what his landlords are like, they're yep. a bit cheap, <clears> aren't they? They yeah. don't like to pay the right price. Pro the problem with, not all landlords, because there are some good ones, but the majority that are in it for cost cutting, um, they, they, they just want it done cheap, don't they? And it's like the EICR certs, they just want it done cheap, cheap, yeah. just to have it. They don't actually care about the building. So my bet is someone's bought this as a pub, seen the pound signs and got like a cheap builder and a few yeah. DIY ways, DIY days to knock it out as quick as possible. We're about to go into the attic now. The attic's just up there. Little hint for you apprentices, when you're going into attics, always wear a face mask of some sort because it's really dusty. Mm -hmm. Also, take any tools out of your pocket that you want to keep, okay, because Guarantee you, you'll lose some of these in the attic if you leave them in your pocket. I've, I've, lost, I've found so many screwdrivers and pliers up in the ceiling voids. Unbelievable. All right, now we're up in the attic. It's bog standard attic, really. Loads of insulation. You have to be careful with it, this one, Adam. Yeah? The joist is a bit strange. That's a chimney breast. That's going to be really hard to do. Yep. That's why they haven't done it. I think we're going to have to turn this job down and say you have to get a roofer in to get a core roll through the wall. We can't do this. You look there, so lady wants a coral, but that's straight into a chimney breast. And there's no room. I mean, you can't get a coral from a chimney breast, so you're gonna to have to go through the roof tiles. And for that, you need a roofer. We're gonna to have to refuse this job, mate. Chimney breast, both sides. Okay, so what happened then? You... So my mum's basically said, they were just sat in the living room. Yeah and they had a bang in the kitchen yeah nothing was on apart from the, like the fridge was plugged in and the oven and whatever um and then that switch just went down yeah they put it back up and it just kind of went what, off again. go back up yeah okay so that one is 
it looks like sockets, 30 amp, okay, that one there, okay, it's one go down. Do you know, well, you won't even know where the bang came from, would you? No, not Just in the kitchen. But it's just the kitchen and the servitude in the dining room. Okay. None of the plugs work, but the rest of the house. And we um we came here before, didn't we? So yeah. What we'll do then is we'll disconnect that circuit and we'll start a testing procedure on it, test the cables and everything, make sure it's all okay. Okay. So I think we could have a problem with either the cables or one of the appliances, maybe. Um, because we did have a dishwasher. Yeah. Um, put it in on Tuesday, yeah. but that wasn't on when the right, okay. bang happened. Cool. Right, um, another thing, do you mind if we turn the power off because we're going to be testing, if that's okay? Yeah, of course, that's fine. So yeah, you can see there, just looking at where the um, circuits are. We're trying to find what circuit, it's the second one along, that's right. Mm -hmm. So we've got yep. all lines there. Yeah. Checking for any loose connections and we what we need to do is try and follow where all the lines and the neutrals and the CPCs go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just figure, figuring it out at this stage, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Kind of just making sure we've got the right one because it, she, she, the customer mentioned where the power had been cut, hadn't she? So it's just a case of finding, yeah. finding that kind of <clears throat> part of the system. So now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find where the, new, the, the neutrals are actually the neutrals for that circuit and then trying to find the CPCs now. Because you can't always take for granted that the ones in the second terminal <clears throat> are the ones for that. Yeah. Um, Especially with the older circuit. boards as well. If they, yeah. If they've been, um, what's the right word, it's amended over time and yeah. people have been inside them and played about and yeah. added or taken things out. <clears throat> So what, what I'm having to do is drop the, uh, it's like a DIN rail sort of thing, drop it forward so I can get to the CPCs behind so we can trace exactly what CPCs we're testing. Removing the bus bar cover. Checking for any loose connections again or any black marks, any faults that we can see making sure that the, the RCD is on, is on the right uh, right side of the consumer unit. A good way of finding out is to wiggle the cables about, then you can see what CPCs are moving. And I've found out that it is the ones it's supposed to be. Yay. And double checking. And of course, they're all in one sleeve. But I only twist it at the end, which is good. Because <laughs> we're going to do, the next test we're going to do is installation resistance test. So we need to separate these CPCs. We're going to do live to earth. Makes me wonder, why do they twist them if they knew at a later stage that they'd want to? I don't want to test it. I don't why? Know. I don't know. Maybe what? the maybe the testing back then wasn't as they rigorous. <laughs> as... <laughs> you mean they didn't do it? Maybe. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> probably. Quick ZS and off to nine them. Yeah. <laughs> so you're separating the two legs of the ring, and then what we're going to do? We're going to do a live to earth which is line and neutral to to the cpc on and the, the same side is that because we've got loads connected yeah we've got yeah. loads connected and just to protect against any loads mm -hmm. and we will be testing it as you'll see with loads connected so you need to test at 250 volts yep. and that's 250 dc yeah all right so we join in the line and neutral together you'll see yeah Bl black and the red cables in this instance because it's old colours mm -hmm. can be quite tricky getting them both together yeah it's quite tough in the crocodile clips sometimes yeah. isn't it just I so think it's crocodile clips are rubbish with all the loads connected and we've got a very very low um, insulation resistance reading it's, a, it's just barely getting over one ohm so we um, it, whilst it's still a pass, it's not good enough for it to not trip again. So mm -hmm. we need to find, obviously there's a problem, we need to find where that problem is. Yeah. So what this circuit was, it was the sockets were in the old way, in the old days, they separated the different sides of the house. So you'd have 
left hand side and right hand side mm -hmm. either that way or, or they do it front to back like mm -hmm. front of the house on one side on one circuit back of the house on the others so like kind of slicing yeah. it in half yeah so now even when it's split rcds they do it like upstairs downstairs lights and yeah. sockets and stuff so but now of course we, most of the time we use our cbos don't we um yeah i do mm. not everyone so a lot of people still what? use no one, no, not yeah. everyone. What? They still what? use RCDs. What are you talking Dual about? RCDs. This? What are you talking about? Now, what we're doing, we're energizing the rest of the house and we're checking what so what sockets are not on. Mm -hmm. So then we know the sockets that, that are not on are on the circuit that we're going to be testing. Mm -hmm. So we'll go around with a little plug in tester and just see what sockets are not on. Yeah, we've got a, a socket tester confirm with the customer to see what circuits should be on that same socket circuit mm -hmm. and double checking with the tester we're, we're verifying our circuit that we're going to be testing whilst we're going around we're making sure that everything's unplugged now and switched off in order to proceed with testing the circuit on its own without any loads connected mm -hmm. there's a fridge there uh, that's going to be plugged in right behind somewhere New dishwasher. Yeah, it was just came in a couple of days before, didn't it? Mm. So we're in the conservatory, and this, I, I've been out to a fault here before, which was down on fuse connection unit, down on the right, you just passed it. Um, and yeah, there was a problem with it, and we didn't get to the bottom of it. I got it enough to get through the night, which was the problem. And then, um, Obviously problems come back, so we know that it's a problem that needs fixing. Again, it's still going around to the circuits, test, putting the socket tester in, making sure they're all dead. And what this is doing is eliminating um, things from the investigation. Mm -hmm. okay. So we know which sockets we're going to be testing, basically. Yeah. yeah. Checking, asking about the living room. Uh, living living room circuit was still on because it's on the other side of the house mm -hmm. so we're not bothered about that at the moment going back to our consumer unit we checked the insulation resistance test with the loads connected and we had barely one meg ohm now we've unplugged everything and switched everything off so we're just testing the cables and the circuit we see what results we're going to get. So we're looking for infinity results here. Yeah, infinite, infinity Until results. we plug back the faulty appliance or circuit. Yeah. <laughs> right, so now we've got infinity. Cut that bit out. Got infinity on our socket circuit. So we know that the socket circuit is good and there's nothing wrong with the cable, cables or cabling. So we're all happy here. So we're, we're looking now, it's an appliance. There's an appliance faulty. That's what that's telling me. Mm -hmm. Because all, and that's because everything's disconnected and yeah. the cable's okay. Yeah. So next, next test looks like coming up now. Yeah. She must have just plugged in a another appliance dock. I think. Yeah. And what you'll see now is, as as Adam just said, uh, the customer will be plugging in various appliances and. All you're doing is plugging in appliances or switching them on <coughs> and then retest and keep going through that process until we come up with um, the dead short. Mm -hmm. and that will be our problem. Exactly the same test as we've done just now. So it's just rinse yeah. and repeat. And then we just test, keep testing. And there we go, straight up to 199. Perfect. Yeah. Next appliance, please. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting certain things on Look, plugging in things one at a time that's <clears throat> cooker circuit so we don't need to worry about that just checking what that does uh, i think it was under covered lighting back out for another test and this should just be a process now the customer i think the customer done the rest of the plugging in and i just stayed here on this point you were very much on a mission weren't you yeah the pace was getting picked up we were we were getting close and it, and it felt like an intense situation was developing in the kitchen area yeah that's it <laughs> we were we were we were getting close to a breakthrough so, weren't we again oh there we go <coughs> oh. short oh so we found a, oh. a dead short there oh hey. so the one the circuit that was just plugged in 
is going to be where the problem is mo most likely. I think what we've done here is we turned that back off and then we carried on the testing just to eliminate anything else on that circuit. Just in case there's multiple faults. Yeah. I'll keep pressing that button, which you can't see it from here, but it's the customers plugging bit, bits in as they go around and keep testing, testing, testing. It's here. It's and there, I tell you. It's there. That is our problem. Oh my right God, it's here. There. This is That's it. it. We'll get our money and go home. This is it. Quick, quick, take it off. Take it off. That's the fault. There it is. So we found that that is linked to the washing machine underneath. Yeah, we're taking this off. We're going to take it off and we'll um, inspect the cabling behind and make sure there's no, no problems. No grommets. Mm. No loose connections or... Arcing or... Yeah. And here at the big reveal. Look at this. Ready. Get set. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, and ooh, 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 go! Oh, oh, here he is! Oh, give him a little. You can tell Dave's put it on because he's put he's grouted it in. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, even that yet yeah, the five and ones are coming. They're, they're out. not. Five, they're now seven and ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hammer as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, electrician's hammer. Who needs a wee hammer when you've got a Knipex hammer? Let's have a little look in there. I think we're yeah, going to the light. Just check in there, make sure it's all okay. All connected up. Right. So what I'm thinking is that circuit or the washing machine that it's connected to mm -hmm. or could be the actual fuse connection unit itself. And that's actually a spur from the socket next to it. Let's have a look properly, see what we can find. I don't think we found any problems. Now, was there a slightly loose connection in there? From what I remember, it might know. have been a little bit loose, or it wasn't connected in. Let me take the other one off. What's, what's that book there, Adam? Is that Pinch of Nagi? Pinch of Pinch of Nagi, isn't that? Is I that? think that's a Pinch of Nom. Is that her autobiography? She's uh, got there sitting in someone's kitchen. Didn't know she had an autobiography. I'd probably have to get onto yeah. Amazon and purchase that. The intensity was just building up at this point. You know? yeah. it, it's just, if we had the customer and another woman in there as well didn't we all yeah. watching like like we were a um an exhibit in the zoo or something like yeah, that we had yeah we just we literally it's one of them jobs where you had the customer following in all the following you all the time and they found it quite interesting didn't they it's like yeah they did yeah yeah they were loving it weren't they yeah they're almost like rooting for us to find it mm -hmm. weren't they like when we got yeah. there oh is this where i found the loose connection yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it that's the one it was a loose connection and we're thinking Oh, this is yeah, it. Yeah, we've done it now. <laughs> Jobs are good, isn't it? That'll be seven hundred pounds, and off we pop. Oh, I mean that's Jordan's rate, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Hourly rate. Yeah, I'm, I'm only six fifty. Yeah, he does it. Does it discounted because we're only a county away? It must be a copper exposed at the back there. So yeah, you got your ring circuit, and then you got your. Um, oh, there he is. Hello. Hi you got, guys. You got your, <laughs> you've got your um, rate uh, spur off of it. Yeah, he's popping out. Hi guys. I'm causing the problem. Or am I? Getting it nice and tight in. Got to get it tight, mate. And we're done. Yeah, we're done. No, no, no. A no, bit, bit, <laughs> bit more. Bit more. Again, a little bit more. There he is. Look at tug that. test. Tug test. Old tug test. Good old tug test. Never fails. You've got to give it a good old yank. That's what, when we were out with Kimmy, that's what she told me. When you do a tug test, you have to give it a good old yank. You can see there's a bit of copper there. We <clears throat> tied that up. This is just for testing. Just, just want to make sure it's all nice and tidy. Made it all good at the end. I'm going to test, ready? Yeah. Okay, we've got infinite. Plug in, um, switch them on. Okay, that's good. Switch the F fuse connection unit on. Yeah, it's gone right down again. It's your washing machine, I reckon. What we'll do, we'll pull out the washing machine and do like a pat test on it, if we can get to it somehow. Could be a, just a faulty fuse connection unit. What they often do is put the plug underneath. Mm -hmm. Let's have, I mind that away. Just gonna see if we can find a plug under here. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. What is 
Is that, can I have the camera, mate? Yep. <laughs> Don't know. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I, th I, th I thought it was a dead body, honestly. I thought it was. I thought, I thought it was a cat. Let me know. Uh, it looks like an old cat. Honestly. It's an old sleeper. Scared life. Oh, no. Metal spider. I thought, I thought it scared life at me there. Definitely. It's going to be hard to pull out, I reckon. I don't know how I can get this out. How did you get this in here? Because that, that's solid. I don't know how the cake can get it off. I need to take this off somehow. I don't know how that's on. Oh, ah, it's been... Ah, oh, right, I've got it. I've got it. Screws in there. There we go. Let's try and grab this out. on this. Don't touch anything on the washer. He's good. He's good. Don't practice it. So there's nothing wrong with that. You see it feels a bit damp behind here. So you probably had some sort of leak in the past. Come on. circuit with that unplugged. Okay, testing. Okay, so we don't have the problem now. I'm gonna double check these connections. Found a problem there. You got a camera? There's a bit of black on this connection. I think what they've done yeah. is they've not take that I'm gonna take a photo so I'm gonna show customer. There's a black mark there, you can see. Yeah. Uh, I think what they've done is they've not terminated it onto the um, copper and they've just about caught the um, insulation, so it's not got a good connection oh, okay. onto the copper. And I think that is causing a problem. So you've got black there as well. I'd say it was that. So what I'll do is I'll re-terminate it, terminate it. Mm -hmm. whilst I'm here, I'll change the plug over anyway. Yeah. So that looks like it's cleared the fault now. So yeah, so that's cleared the fault. <laughs> Hardest thing is to get it all back now. So yeah, that, that was your problem. Just your um, socket under there. You know, glad we've got to the bottom of it and without changing over the, um, um, what do you call it, washing machine. What we do, we put the washing machine in, I'll get it out in a minute, and um, then we'll test it again, make sure we haven't disturbed it whilst we put it back. So the fault that the customers just told me about, um, so I should have got it on camera before. Um, got upstairs light, and what happened, we were sitting here, and the upstairs light was switched on, and it took about two minutes for the light to actually come on. I've never heard of this fault before, so it's some sort of capacitive effect. It could be the light bulbs need changing. Have you tried changing light bulbs? Yeah, yeah. so you try it. It's taken a while, I think it's some sort of capacitive effect, and it's just, all right, we left it off for a minute, Let's see if it does it again. I bet it don't. So not, now it's coming on. But a minute ago we were sitting here and the light took about a minute, minutes, two minutes to come on. And sometimes it will dim. And so sometimes it just has like I've never heard that and I've tried I cannot think what it could be. Some type of fault in the um in the fitting I reckon. Can we just take a look at the fitting? It's really weird, I've never seen that. Oh, is it these down lights? They're having problems with these lights. They're taking about a minute to drop to come on. They're halogens. I've never seen the fault before, but now thinking about it, they're going to be on LED drivers. Well, no, not LED drivers, but drivers. And um, 
that's what's happening. It's, it's charging up the driver, and then it, it's got enough power to go into the light. So what I'd recommend is just changing them out for uh, regular uh, AED ones that we do. The best thing about changing them to AEDs is they will, um, they'll pay for themselves in the long run. These are really, really inefficient. So you pay quite a bit of electric for these to run. Right. Um, if you could to get AED ones, they use nothing. Yeah. And eventually, or well not, not even that, that long, they will pay for themselves. You know, how many fittings you got? One, about four. So you're looking at about 150 quid to change them. But I'd say they, they'll pay for themselves in no time at all. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd always advise getting rid of hydrogens. They're just really, really inefficient. Yeah. A lot of wasted energy on there. So have a think about that. Um, I can get you a quote over. I've never seen it before, but working it out, thinking about it. That's what's happened. It's got like a, there's like some, it's like, a, it's not like a quite a, a battery pack. It's, it's, um, it's an LED driver and it just converts the um, voltage to 12 volts and changes it to uh, DC current. And yeah. what it's doing is it's charging up first and then it's having enough power to power them. You can just change out the drivers, but what you pay for a driver, you get the same, you know, about the same sort of price for a AD light. Yeah. So they're about, they're about 20 quid each. So you're looking at about 150, including the fitting, roughly. As you saw from one of our previous videos, we done an EICR and pat test on a dentist. Um, some twat le left their um, laptop charger there, didn't they, Adam? Yeah, where did they uh, leave it, Dean? Was it on the reception with yeah, all the I left computers it, I left that we it, was pat testing? I left it on the reception, pat testing. I come home and I said, Adam, have you got my charger? Because I can't find my charger anywhere. And it, <laughs> it, we left it at the, at the dentist and Adam's even pat tested it for me. Look, <laughs> what, what a dickhead. <laughs> Hey, it was with all the computers, mate. I don't know it was yours, but at oh, least you know it's safe to use. Yeah, safe to use, now, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking dickhead. Mate. The best bit is it'll be on their. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, like, now they're missing a laptop. List of assets. <laughs> so we've just nicked a laptop pack, basically. Fuck, what a dickhead. <laughs> Brilliant. Also, I was just, just chatting about Adam. It's his birthday. What day is it now? It's the 26th of February now. Week tomorrow. Isn't it? Coming up is Adam's birthday. Week but you're tomorrow. not going to see this until probably after his birthday. Mm -hmm. um, but I've said to him, <laughs> I, right, you would have already seen my birthday gift. I loved it. Brilliant. But I've said Top that gift. Adam Top is gift. not going to beat my one. So I'm excited, man. He's not going to stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> for the birthday one but the thing is right it's i've got now i've got a whole year to top it again i think i might put this out as, as a little two minute teaser video i think yeah maybe this week this weekend yeah like a trailer yeah watch out for the adam's birthday <laughs> video it will be it's a good one is it um a master class in fault finder with Delwood of spark well you're getting close now mate because i would love to do i know that. Right, let's have a King think. of fault finding, mate. If we want to go out, you can pick one YouTube, no, two YouTubers um, to go out with a few for a few beers with. Who are you going to pick? Uh, Delroy the Spark. Delroy the Spark. He, he, yeah, 100%. Who Kimmy else? The Spark. And Kimmy the Spark. That's it. No more. Delroy and Kimmy. Uh, right, I'd love to go out with uh, Delroy the Spark. Definitely. He, he, I reckon he's got a good few videos and a good few... Um, I bet he's got some stories. Stories, yeah, yeah. You know he has. I bet Daryl's got some stories. And man. also, I'd love to go out with um, Dave Savory. Go out on a beer with Dave Savory. That would be one end of a good night. That'd be, that'd be an interesting threesome, wouldn't it? Delroy, <laughs> Dean and Dave. <laughs> Three Ds. Mate, that's gonna, that'd be good. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so we're going to go now. You won't see this, the next video, what we're doing today because we're going to go and carry on putting up the snooker lights, which we will see another video coming up. Stay tuned. Hashtag secret millionaire slash sparky love. Hashtag secret millionaire. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Friday night. It's pub night. It's Friday. It's actually Friday. Friday night's pub night. Friday night. And don't forget to like, comment, share, prescribe! prescribe! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, mate. <laughs>